Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So for the past week, I've been gone, and Heather had her son come over to help add gold to all of the gold pay dirt bags that we sell over on kleshgold.com. Now, Seth is new. He doesn't really know, um, he doesn't know how to pan for gold. He doesn't understand the concept of easier versus more difficult pay dirt, which is understandable. But, and Seth, we really appreciate your help when, um, when we need it. But thing is, Seth messed up and he added flower gold to these guys instead of flakes. So these are supposed to get pickers and flakes. He added uh, pickers and flower gold. And so that's wrong. That's the wrong recipe. So um, I got to pan out like 94 bags of this stuff. This is the note I came home to. Uh, these must be dumped out and panned out. So. Uh, I thought I figured it would make an awesome video panning out 94 bags of pay dirt. Heather tried panning out six. There was a hundred total. She panned out. She tried panning out six. She uh, she said it was too difficult. So that's why I'm here. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd <laughs> show you guys how much gold we get out of 94 bags of gold crumbs pay dirt. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, here it is. 96 bags of gold crumbs pay dirt from kleshgold.com that are messed up because they have the wrong kind of gold in them. Let's take a look at them in a pan. Great, so what we need to do is we need to dump these out into, I guess, a bucket or something. So just for demonstration's sake, inside these bags, um, we have, we put like little gemstones, there's some calcopyrite, some citrine, this is some fluorite, and of course there's some gold in it. So normally these things are really easy to pan out. You can actually just go through it and you can find little pickers of gold. I just want to pan one of these out really quick. I'll just add a drop of Jet Dry in there and we'll pan this back quickly just to show you guys um, what these gold crumb pay dirt bags are kind of like. All right, so as you can see, there is a picker in there and there's quite a bit of flakes in there, but there's also flower gold, which is not how it's supposed to be. So I have these listed at like a 2.5 difficulty, and this uh, flower gold here, this would make it a lot more difficult. Like it would bring it up to maybe a four difficulty. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty all these into the bucket, and then we'll process everything. So I did some math. Um, we should be able to recover a minimum of about 13 grams of gold with all of these bags of pay dirt. So uh, we'll see how far off my 13 gram prediction is. We're probably gonna get more than that because there is, there's definitely gonna be some bonus bags in here. So some of those have multiple grams of gold. So we'll see what we get at the end. But yeah, this is a first. I've never had to pan out over 10 bags of pay dirt at once, let alone, uh, what is this, 94? So we're actually gonna be reusing these bags. This is serial number 12109. Uh, so I'm not cleaning out every bag because we're gonna be adding material back to these and shipping them off. So any, any gold trapped in here is gonna to be to a customer's benefit. How many bonus bags did he make? I don't know, a couple. Okay, yeah, I panned one out and it had flakes in it. But not all of them do. All right, well. It's just better to make sure that we got all of them than not getting all of them. Correct. I just figured it would make a fun video. I'm curious to see how much gold we get out of 90, how many bags is it, 94? We're gonna classify this stuff down just to get rid of some of these gemstones. There's a lot of calcite in here, citrines, quartz, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so we'll go ahead and classify this first. We're gonna use a quarter inch classifier because that's gonna take away all of the big uh, pieces and that'll cut down about one third of the material that we have to pan. All right, I'll just run it through a quarter inch classifier.
These classifiers are made by Arbor Fabricating, by the way. If you guys want one, I'll leave a link in the description with a discount code. These are the best in the world. By far. Is that a gold nugget or is that Calco Pyre? It is a gold nugget. There's two of them in here. Look at this. That would be the bonus. Well, there's two of them here, so that's maybe one or two bonuses. But, yeah. Not too bad. And remember, these bags are only eight bucks a piece if you get the, the subscription, otherwise they're 15 bucks. That's pretty good. That nugget's worth like 80 bucks or so. All right, and this is everything that's minus quarter inch. Okay, so I have a couple options here. I can uh, run all this stuff through this loose box all in one shot, and that would separate all of the material from the gold, making it very easy. However, I think I want to do some panning, so it's not going to take very long since there's not much black sand in the gold crumbs material. It shouldn't be too difficult to pan out by hand. So let's bring over Otto from AutoZone. I'll add some water and some jet dry to make sure any of the small flower gold can't float away on the surface tension. All right, so I already have some material that's wet from that first, uh, that first bag that I demonstrated with. So I'm just gonna do like one, two, three or four big scoops. And you'll see how easy this material is. It does have flower gold in it though, so hopefully this isn't too much material, but we'll find out in a minute. There's still a few gemstones that got through. Not sure what that is, maybe it could be glass, who knows? Nope, that's uh, citrine, it's got orange in it. Normally I would save that, but we're gonna be adding all this right back to the, the new bags that we make. My mission here is to collect gold only. First thing I'm noticing, we already have flower gold getting away. Um, the way to fix this problem is to actually classify all of this stuff down to about kitchen strainer. That'll get rid of those bigger pieces that are knocking the gold down. So we, what we have to do is classify and then we can continue on. But there's a, holy cow, <laughs> that's a lot of gold for, yeah, that's, that looks pretty good so far but it's uh, mostly pickers and there are some flakes in there because he didn't mess all of them up. He just messed some of them up, but we have to make sure. So that's why we're going through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna recover this gold here with the snuffer bottle. So you see how difficult, I'm having trouble tapping it up because all the big rocks wanna move as well. So that's why we're gonna classify it here in a minute. Also, if you guys are interested in learning how to pan for gold, I do have a gold panning tutorial video that I made specifically for beginners uh, and even, you know, intermediate and expert. You can check it out. It has, uh, I think it has some techniques in there that can benefit pretty much everybody if you're interested in learning how to pan for gold. So when I said there was no black sand in it, what I meant was we didn't add extra black sand. There is um, natural black sand in it from the river when I collect this material. So of course you're gonna have some black sand, but definitely not a, a huge amount. And even if we don't have 100% recovery, I'm not gonna mess around with this little stuff just because I'm just trying to get the majority of the gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray this out so we're not here for five or six hours. So this is an eighth inch Arbor Fabricating Classifier. I'm gonna use that because it's faster and this will absolutely remove all the gemstones 
Okay, here we have our plus and minus eighth inch material. Here's a nice little piece. It's a nice little picker there. All right, now we can get back to panning. We'll do three scoops and it should be even easier this time since we have all the bigger material gone. All right, we're getting down to the black sands here. This material, I can feel it in my hands. It's a bit heavier than the rest of it. So I'm just gonna pan off pretty much everything except for the black sands. And then instead of trying to recover all of the gold from every pan, I'm just gonna take that last amount, that last little bit, and we'll do the final cleanup all at once, mainly because it'll look awesome at the end of the video. You know, I say a sluice box would have been faster. I enjoy hand panning more. It's kind of more relaxing for me, and I think it's probably just as fast if you include the setup time of the sluice box. Lots of gold in there. If I had a bigger setup, like a bigger tub, I can use the Garrett Super Sluice Gold Pan to do all this panning instead of three or four scoops. I could do this entire thing all in one shot, which would be even faster. So we probably have about one pan to go after this before the final cleanup. Yeah, we can pan all that. Actually, let me actually let me clean up this water. All right. I had to clean it because the, the dirt was up so high I couldn't do any more panning in here. All right, this will be the last pan before the final cleanup. You can see the material itself. It's uh, it's got some some organics in it, but it's not like mud or anything. It's it's directly from a gold bearing river So you're getting the most natural experience possible with these bags and by the way um, They are only eight dollars with a weekly subscription and there's like nine dollars worth of gold in each one at least uh for today's spot value of gold. So that's over 100% return on investment for these bags, which is pretty darn good. All right, this is the last little bit. We'll go ahead and pan out this final cleanup pan. This pan isn't very seasoned. See that? How this pan, the water kind of just rolls off of it. This is one of the brand new pans. I didn't even season it. You see how it kind of just goes dry on its own like that. Uh, we'll go back to my, my other pen, which is more seasoned, just so I don't lose any gold. And it's very easy to season a pan. All you need to do is just rub rocks into it for a while, and that's all it takes. All right. Let's spin it back and see what we get here. That's not too bad. But um, I think what we're gonna do is we'll clean this up and we'll weigh it up and we'll get a value on it just to kind of see what the average is for these bags. They all have a guaranteed minimum amount of 0.14 grams. Um, that's why I predicted you know, almost 100 bags, so it should be less than 14 grams. So I just said 13 grams. But these big nuggets and stuff, um, I think I'm way off. So let's go ahead and uh, clean this up. 
We'll dry it out, weigh it up, and we'll get a value on it. Whoops. Big nuggets. It is always a lot of fun panning out large amounts of gold like this and having it in your in your pan like that. I'm just gonna grab as much as I can with the snuffer bottle here. A lot of it won't fit through the straw, which is a good problem to have. Seriously? I can't get all these pieces up there. All right, I got most of the gold out. There's a few pieces of flower gold and stuff in there. We're not too worried about 100% recovery, but now we have our snuffer bottle, which is full of black sand and gold. So now we just have to clean this up. I do show techniques how to do this in the gold panning tutorial video, which I linked before. All right, so normally I like to use a heat gun. This is just a heat gun to dry my gold. But this time, uh, since there's so much gold, the heat gun would melt the plastic before uh, the gold dried out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I have a little uh, glass beaker. I'm just gonna pour it into the glass beaker and then we will heat up the beaker after pouring off the gold. Oh, there's a nugget stuck in there. And then we'll be left with only gold. So we got 19.47 um, grams of gold out of 94 bags of Clutch Gold Crumbs Mini Pay Dirt. I did the math, it's about 0 0.20 grams average per bag. And right now the gold spot price value is $1,990 per troy ounce. And we are going to call it 24 karat purity because you can resell natural plaster gold just like this to um, some pay dirt vendors will purchase it. I will purchase it. If you have natural plaster gold and you want to sell your gold, just send me an email. Actually, go to clutchgold.com, click on the sell your gold button, and I'll send you a free quote and buy your gold. Let's see what we got here. So $12.80 average per bag. That's not terrible. Um, if you want to buy the bags outright without having the subscription, it's $15 a bag. It's like 80 or 90% ROI. And if you get the weekly subscription or the monthly subscription, it's only $8 a bag, which is, I don't know, what is that, 150% ROI. Now this isn't a review, I'm just, this is what I do in all my gold panning videos, so that's what you get. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.